Okay. Let's just try to see if we can get, get some people in here. Let me share it on my platform too. Hello, hello, everyone, and welcome to another episode of Unfiltered Podcast. I am your host, Gabe Lincoln, and tonight we have a very, very special guest. Our guest tonight is not only the creator and the owner of Unfiltered Podcast, but he is also my friend. So um, get ready for your questions to be asked, tea to be spilt. And everything to be addressed. This is about Slim and his interview and what he has going on. So refrain from coming for a bitch like me because I'm just your host. I'm not here for none of the minutes. I'm just here for what I'm here to do. And that's to interview and get ready for this amazing podcast. So, um, like I said, we're getting ready to have our guests come in. And if you all know the owner... And the um the podcast creator is Nigel, aka Slim. So without further ado, let's get ready to introduce him. Hang on the shit, baby. So, the first question I had, well, we had, we had people, um, 
submit questions for Nigel um, for the podcast. And then we're going to open it up for everybody else to ask questions in the chat. But for the questions that were brought to me, how did you come up with your podcast and how did you name your podcast? So, I feel for a podcast, actually kind of for my meat case, I just brought the meat, well, I brought the meat last uh, February, called Unfilter to the Meat Say, everybody know what Unfilter means, and um, then, and kind of now, I'm in my Unfilter era in life, like, we no holding, no sugar coating, no being around the bleach beach, if I got to I've been, a lot of people like you've been like that, I kind of have it, I have it. Right. But now, I'm just to the point where beach, any beach can get the word of this couple. When it comes to like, you know what I'm saying? Right. So the podcast idea was more like, I always sleep want to do like a clock show or something. And it was just really just doing something and then like everybody started liking it. So I'm like, you know, with each. Because I've been dead with this time it cleaves. So, yeah. I like, and I definitely, when I was, you know, tuned in, I was like, you know, this could be big. I was excited about it because it was entertaining and it was something good to watch. I appreciate, mm-hmm. you know, what you're doing and putting out the content. So, that's really, really um, interesting that you know you put out your big tape and then you decided that you wanted to do your podcast the same night. So where do you see your podcast? Do you see it bigger than, you know, local that you're doing right now? Or do you want to expand it where you can invite other bigger people, like, you know, maybe with social media yeah. platforms? I most definitely do. That's why one, I went to looking for like a, um, you know, a venue or someone to host it, somewhere to host it, because I do want it to be like a more professional feel. Right. So you know I know it's gonna have mix, but I kinda wanna mix it up a little bit. Yeah. I know the mix was gonna entertain them, right. but I wanna get into like other things. So yes, I'm gonna definitely see it going up because like I wanna get it on YouTube. I'm trying to stream from all platforms and be able to get it up. Right. Well it will be especially if you stay consistent in what you're doing now. It will definitely be so uh, I know this, I know you've had your um you know your guests on here and you know, you had uh, different people. So, I saw that you were going to have a reunion. Are you still having a reunion with your Oh, guests? my God. <laughs> oh, about the reunion. Would y'all want a reunion? Like, what y'all want to do? I honestly want to do the reunion, but it's like, I think, one, the reunion would be very entertaining. Two, I won't do it. If I do it, I wouldn't do it the way that we're doing it. Now, I would actually want to be like, the Love and Hip Hop reunions. I would actually have a real cameraman. I want to be like a red carpet event. Yeah. Like, I really want to, you know, when I see stuff, I see it big. So, right. I actually, and that's going to actually be on YouTube if I do that. Like, they got to go on YouTube. So, yeah, I want to do the reunion, but everybody, I don't think everybody's going to do it. Like, everybody may Somebody not said they're scared to come to reunion. That too. See, <laughs> I, I, I didn't want to get it to them. If you, if you weren't scared to come on a podcast, it you should be scared to do a reunion. That's no, what I'm saying. Right. I'm not gonna try to ask nobody because I did ask some people, but some people about the team that wanted to come, you know. Yeah. And I don't get into like who you come to talk about because I'm not biased because I feel like everybody got a right to come to that story. So if you know, somebody get up here and pop it by Julie and you want to pop it on your side, you can do it on your live and sign if you want to do it on the show, you know, mm-hmm. you can do it. So, yeah, and a lot of people just, I don't know. Well, if I become a guest on your podcast and I do a reunion, I'm gonna have to. I'm just gonna let you know. I'm coming <laughs> with weapons. I'm, I'm, I'm coming with weapons. I ain't playing with no motherfucking guy. So you know, so we might just be refrain from that. But uh, no, I do think that you should have for you. Know, everybody know. should do. Everybody should yeah. do. Yeah. I wanted to dress up. Like you can come if you think you want to fight. But I really want to die down on the fight. I know it's gonna be some me, but I do want to let dialogue because I didn't. Let me say this before we move on. I had no clue that a lot of people that was on there had like already existing beef with each other and something like that come live out Instagram, you know. For real? The, I promise I did not know that. Like some of the lives I seen, I know you people had problems or run-ins or whatever. And stuff like um the couple was kind of in low. Like, I knew their situation yeah. a little because it was going alive. I didn't know as much. Okay. Well that was a very entertaining um <laughs> That right there. I think that one is like a favorite one. Yeah, that was probably my favorite one. Right. <laughs> and then the one with Shy and Dakota because, you know, they went super, super hard. Yeah. It was Ooh, just girl. like, whew, I like the mess. But, um. We, 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 okay, no, but we got to do it. Well, do there it. you go. There's one of the guests in the comments saying she wanted to do a reunion. So, what's the problem? <laughs> Everybody do a reunion. Do a reunion. We don't have security. But, girl, I do that reunion. Y'all got to sign contracts. Y'all got to sue me. 
Yeah, if you did a reunion, it's the, uh, it should be automatic. This time, he ain't got nothing to do with nobody getting hurt and beat up because that's on y'all. That's why I, I'm scared to do a reunion. I'm scared to do a reunion. <laughs> I'm putting it out there. I don't know about doing a reunion because I bring a weapon or you call it off like you do. So, you know, I, you know what I'm saying? So, might, I might just have to watch the reunion. <laughs> okay, so we got that out of the way. So, let's get into some deeper questions. We're going to get some personal questions. Um, well, the first question I got was from a viewer. They said, Nigel, what do you consider yourself? <laughs> a top, a bottom, a versatile, a power bottom? <laughs> what, what do you consider yourself? Like, we want to know. The people want to know. The people want to know. Yeah, I'm a bottom bottom. I'm a power bottom, baby. <laughs> I don't know what you mean. Yeah, I'm a power bottom. Me, I consider myself a top bottom. I think about wherever I am, uh, whatever I'm feeling that night, but really I'm like fully first, so I can do either or like, oh, really? yes, I'm, I'm like fully first, like, mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> so then you have but to go. I went from, I from first to bottom, so I say first to bottom sometimes, but like, I mean, because they don't to me, I'm on top of the for real. So you wear, do you wear top of her? Yeah, but every, like, honestly, every gay boy just talk to me on the little stuff. Like, bitch, if I get young men for you, like, it's one thing if I be submissive, bitch, but that's, I can give you both equally, baby. I like you because, you know. You wear, baby. Yeah. I'm so glad that you cleaned that up. So he's versatile. I'm strictly bottom because I try to top. So you are a power, like, you try to top. Yes, I'm going to die to me. Oh, we got to talk about that. Yeah, you say I don't know about that. This um this tonight is Gabby. Oh my god. We should have put Gabby on the floor. We say see when he in Wait. Uh huh. We got we're gonna be we gotta ask that question again. Okay, so we that was the question too, have you ever talked? So you clear that up. You get said the shit. Well, do you like pounce or strike me? Who I, said that? Uh my own grandma. Baby, I love train. I love me a piece of train. Oh, that was that. one of the questions. Oh! That was it. Okay, so the first question was, before that one was, have you ever had a threesome? Oh, y'all want to get into my tea? I haven't had an oral threesome, y'all. Oh, okay, go ahead. Everybody was just like, what? Oh, I'm scared. What you did? Every, uh, oral threesome. What? Okay, so how was that? Like, what was that? You did three men up. I don't know, it was me and two other people and we all was like um equally performing over six months. Oh each other. So three people were studying each other up. Okay. Front end, back end. Oh my god. So was that was that three openly like uh I mean like okay, so what was each person like so was you and two other people? Yeah, I was saying what were we orientation wise? Yeah, like um our three of them were birds, so you can okay. imagine how they went. Was one on giant? Oh, I thought that was my ass. That was my ass. That was my ass. Let me go to the next question. I don't know. No. <laughs> this library is what it's saying, dog. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, you eat ass, dog. Oh, my God. Oh, that was one of the questions, too. After <laughs> the do you eat, do you, uh, Munch, is that what it's called? Yeah. Okay, do you munch? I have eaten, but I don't eat. Okay. Wait a minute, so you have eaten, but you, you know. What I'm saying, I'm just not like, you know how some people are part of the city that I always eat, and it's not me. Like, I'm just, every time I have a city, I'm not going to eat my ass. Right, so. You know okay. what I mean? Because again, for me to give you that part of me, I have to really be turned out of my city. Okay. So, okay, so you, you rather not, but you will if you turn Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, I get it, okay. All right, so, um, okay, well, you did say that you do both and try to read some because they say it's the thing, too. Okay. All right, so, we have, um, oh, Pamela Green, you see, you see that what I'm saying? We're going to keep it to the um, comments and to what Nigel Please don't start with me. <laughs> I, I, somebody say I look like Mutiny with a wig. Get on the other one. And this is me, baby, how? Get on the other I'm gonna let you win that for real. We talking about some milk. Um, so we did. They, they, they want to know that you, you talk to trade like you. So you like trade men? Yeah, yeah. I love it. We try not a lot of guys. We be trying to, to, you know, shine out. I'm saying like, they ain't gonna never do that. And it's too bad. Like the problem, I mean, like, oh, um, 
Have you ever had pussy before? <laughs> Coaching. Have you ever oh, had? Y'all gonna put me out here with me. Mm-mm. I'm not leaving me, y'all. I was born to like boy. So you've never had pussy. <laughs> and that's the Girls that went trained. Trained <laughs> men who are not openly. Um, it's, it's just a dialogue. Right. Basically. Dialogue man. Yeah, dialogue man. Mm-hmm. Basically. Okay, so. Um, are you in a relationship currently? Like, are you currently in a relationship or are you single? What do you consider it? Um, I'm single, but um, I'm in talk to with my ex from jail. Oh, that's what they had. They said if the man incarcerated your boyfriend, and when does he come out? <laughs> uh, Paul may not be in the game. I was like, I was like, if I was Paul and you ain't going to let my man come out, we're going to get real serious in these motherfuckers. <laughs> For real. Because she said, I'm about to be asking when I ain't coming to Fort Hall, baby. Don't worry about him being coming home. But anyway, that's my man. Um, but that ain't my man. Mm. Who my man? And we come home with Tanika. Okay. Be honest. 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 The one that frees me. Okay, well, that's the one you need to be with. You know? <laughs> <laughs> so I don't want to wait till you come home. Oh, my God. Um, do you, so this was from Lola. Do you ever see yourself trying pussy? Like, how do you know you don't like it if you haven't tried it? Because, I'm going to be in shot. I am, um, what's the word? I know you sound speaks to the trick. I know when a female looks good. Mm-hmm. I know when a female is beautiful to me. I know when a female is fine. I be looking at some females like, Damn, it's not like that. Not like, oh, you know, I don't really? know. Oh, it's so not you, wrong. So you but I that. just went to go, you know, not female or if a female, like, really just want to have sex to me. Like, I dance how you and act real gay, but baby, once you want to meet up, soak something, so I don't know how to help you. Don't eat horny. Don't. <laughs> okay, so they said, would you talk to a trade with kids in a family? I have before. <laughs> From all these? From all these. Okay. I have before, but I, <laughs> I actually love trying with kids, though. For real? With baby mama's kids. Oh. I'm not being funny. I like. Well, that's what the trade is, though. I'll be riding to them in those times. Oh, I'm going to go back here. I'm going to go back um, Nigel said, somebody said you ate, you had a pussy before, and this is coming from Sam. Girl, I ain't nobody pussy, what you talking about? That's what they, huh, that's what they saying, they saying that you ate pussy. I was dying a lot when I was like 17, 18 on everything I tried, but I leaked, like, it was a dare, like, we were gay. We were, yeah, we were playing shoot to them. A girl? Um, okay. oh, a girl, like, we were, I, it was a group of us, though. And you we were playing shoot to them? Yeah, I leaked it a couple times. What did it taste like? I was like, I was like 17. If I'm on there. Yeah. If I'm good. I wasn't I wasn't there. I ain't gonna do it like that. I'm just playing. I don't know what it like that's how I do all that for real. I got now the why you all in like the Down on me. Yeah. Because like this my thing. I split hair I split I have trust issues freaking from her. So I feel like these parts you can be out of them, they do all this and at least like them. You really got, well, me, from the same attitude, man, because I don't really expect them to, like, call in love me and stuff like that, because, you know, I know they got their phones be here, like, double lives and stuff, but they see and pretend, at least a trade, even though some of them do be wishing, 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 wishing. Yeah. But at least you know it, they don't like them pumps. I don't know, y'all, it's just something about having something that you don't supposed to have is good to me. Yeah, it's just <laughs> about it, yeah. I don't know. When don't nobody know, just imagine you're in a club, somebody just beat you down, like, he over there with his little boo little boo. And you just walk past him like, y'all just fuck right by y'all kind of. I'm here! Oh, yeah. Um, so <laughs> somebody else said, do you ever think about exposing a trade? Oh, y'all see, I feel like a lot of shit and I play. But I wouldn't do that. Now, when um, I be knowing about certain men, I do not like get in my head about like, ooh. But see, I would never do nothing like that because they really could be dead. But let me tell y'all. It be the ones like when you in a club, right? Me and my friends, like my trans sisters and like my pop friends, like we'll punch through. And it be the ones who I know for like they got them bodies on them. 
I know for a fact she be sucking hella D. I know for a fact she be booting over and you know what I'm saying? And buying trends and stuff like that. It be y'all for me when y'all do all that. Oh, we yeah. be buying our business. Y'all come over here and, and you know, nah, like, yeah, yeah like, what the fuck? I still be want to expose them because you can just let her mind our business. You really like it, but you think about doing all that that you have that you like. See, I really do be want to expose them, but it's just like, it exposes itself sometimes. Yeah, and you can really tell when the person is like that, too. I be want to expose their ass, though. Because I want to be like, bitch, you just about my yeah. sister training quick today. I'm oh. not now. <laughs> See, with me personally, I know when it comes down to uh, Dialog Man, um, I, re- I, re- I, re- I mean, I'm just not eager to just deal with them. You get what I'm yeah. saying? And it's just for the simple fact that they're the ones that you might get pissed off and be like, oh, well, you just did this and you just did that, mm-hmm. but you know, you don't want to put that business out there. So, you know, I just try well, to. See, I think my mind is so tough. If I did. Yeah, we are filtered. We are filtered. Okay, so let's get into this. Um, do you miss your ex, James, and are y'all still cool? <laughs> oh my God. Y'all is not making a part of these two of these. Um, I not in our study right now, but I miss them because like we are cool, like we uh we had yeah, like a circle of friends or whatever, and we actually was friends before like that. Yeah. So it's just like we are cool, and then I'm sad because like I said, we all the time, all the time, like we all like the circle of friends. So. so when you and Jane uh, had got together. <laughs> Was Jay in a relationship or was he uh, single? Oh my god, Jay! Was... <laughs> well, I just told y'all like people man. So, <laughs> <laughs> well, y'all, you know, we are perfect. Dog. I was, I feel like, oh, this didn't forget about me. I quit on y'all. Okay. Right. I just, I just, let me tell you for real. Okay. So me and Jay, Jay don't. <laughs> so me and Jay were cool, right? He, we been like was like in the inbox type situation. Mm. Oh, I, you know, me and him and my kids in the house, we were just cool with it, so we were supposed to link up, and it really was supposed to be like a bye-bye-bye situation. Okay. But it didn't happen that night, like, we were talking all night and shit like that, and it was like, you know, we were about So we ended up being friends. At first, I answered it, not know that he was going with somebody, so I don't know if he already was going with him, I was trying to find out he wasn't going with him at the time that he ended up going to the situation. But she, when they ended up going together, so yeah, well, I read my head. Like, in my head, like, bitch, it's just all in my head. And they have nothing to do with it. They have nothing to do with me. And we're going to keep talking. Really? So, yeah. Um, then Jane says, you know, not to tell the rich, the true story. Oh, man, it's good. What's going on? Who is that? I don't say what that was my man. Okay. So, the next question is, so, a couple of months back, or it might have been a, a two or three months back, uh, we had seen a live, a live video from you. And you were, right way, you you were addressing somebody and it was about someone taking your phone and sending money from your cash app to them. Um, can you give us a little background? Like, did you ever get your money back? Or um, uh, have you uh, ran into that person? Okay, so um, I'm telling you, man, this person that I was cool with or whatever like that, we really was living this cool with. Oh, and I came to the house and I ain't gonna lie, I was drunk in school. Me and my sister had no way to go to school, but we were drunk in school. So, like, we chilling, smoking stuff all the time, and I guess I went to sleep on my phone. When I woke up, like, early in the morning, he was gone with my sister up when he left, but she didn't think that this was nothing to open with him. So, I had to talk to him, and everything that morning, but I went right back to sleep. I get up and then check my phone, and I see that little girl had on. See, he still my motherfucking money, but he didn't send it to his pay on um, cash. He sent it to like a oh, man cash. But mind you, <coughs> even he was trying to say you were drawing, you could send it to your son. First and foremost, if a person not already in your cash, you, know, you did draw and you just got to see. First of all, I ain't gonna send no bitch no phone. I said, nah, no, it's kind of other man. They're trying to send me. $497. Be yeah. clear. <laughs> $497. Yeah. And if I just. Randomly sitting for hundreds of dollars. Until a random ass person. No, I did not get my money back. No, I haven't all seen the beach yet. Um, but I, you got your money back? No, I didn't. Oh, dang. I answered the police before, but that called me to follow up, but I had a warrant, so I answered the phone. Okay. 
Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> never had that car. Yeah, y'all can have that. Don't call him. Oh, man. Baby, I'm James. God damn. Yeah, James in the comments for y'all um, that's asking who's James. Y'all so messy. So, what would you do if you were to see the guy who um, cash out your, um, the money? I just want to talk. You just want to talk? <laughs> yeah. I just want to Y'all, try to get him to come on the show. I want Mark to come on the show. What's his name? Marky Marky Mark. Marky Mark Marcus. We want you on up yeah. to podcast. I miss him. All right, all right. For real. I just miss the people like they probably really be wondering like what you got right now and make you want to just miss somebody. Mm-hmm. Not being y'all cool. And he admitted it too. That's what I did. Oh, so he did? After a while, yes. One day, like it got real rocky one night. I went live and it wasn't about him. And it turned into him because he wanted to be about him. And he fixed my phone and called on Miss Y'all. I mean, it was your phone, sister. Called Miss mm-hmm. Y'all, bitch. I saw you. Blah, 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 blah. Like talking that shit. Well, we want to. Nah, like, yeah, my we, well, if we're in up here to podcast, they won't be the first fight. It won't be the last. <laughs> Marcus, if you're watching, can you please come on the podcast? Nigel would like to have a conversation yeah, with you. Yeah, we can have a security with you. Then you should have that one, too. I want a house, but it, uh, we would definitely have to have security, <laughs> police, and stuff like that. I and bet maybe, I got no work. <laughs> maybe we can get your money back, too. Where <laughs> did you go? So... So this was a question that actually came from a, um, a page that didn't have a um, Facebook page. Oh, yeah. It said, how do you feel about Martez or Martez? Do you know that name? Does that sound, sound familiar? Martez or Martez? I don't know Martez, but I don't know why we would never be asking how I feel about Martez. I don't feel about Martez. <laughs> <laughs> I don't say it like I don't. I don't feel about her. What am I doing? My team? You know him? Or who is that? I, I, it's not two people like that, but I don't think it's not that much like that. That's why I, that voice is kind of weird. I want to know who's behind it. You know, is. that's what, that's what's interesting to me too, because if you say saying, you know, it, so I was just going to tell you. Because I, I went through nothing with Marty and Fred, not nothing to me, and definitely that's my friend for real, so you know what I'm saying? Yeah. You feel nothing about her. We always like cool through people. You know how like you yeah. know somebody? Who, who y'all like other child was never like, we was never like friends, so. Well, it's interesting because you know that question came from a fake page, so you just never know. You no fake page, girl? That was the question, honey. I got the six, too. <laughs> um, I still want to know who asked me if my man get out, baby. Anybody, I just want to talk to you, too. Are Ron and Slim still cool with each other? Yes, of course. This is my good duty. Actually, Ron, um, like my um last mixtape or whatever like that, we still, Ron and Slim is still a musical um group. We just don't yeah, yeah. rap together. He hit me like, you know what I'm saying? Okay, yeah. As far as the songs together, um, creative that way. A and R, my own music and stuff. So, yeah. Okay, well, so they cleared the air. Ron and Slim are just, just still yeah. cool. They're just, you know, in a different. Yeah, the music. Right. right. Cause uh, I ain't gonna say too much, but yeah. Okay. Cause soon, like, you know, we might do something out right, with Ron Slim. Okay, so Ron Slim may have something coming soon, yeah, so stay yeah. tuned. We'll get it well. Yeah, trying to get Susan back in the studio. How did you put, <clears throat> how friend did you put that wig on that bag? Well, um, now I can put my wig on. Now I still is slaying the wig. So where are we getting the music from oh, Slim? Hey. I'm going to do an unfiltered part two, just add a couple songs to it that should be out like by July. I'm going to get like some summer stuff or something here and I want people to actually check that ad because it's the red one taking all the time. I'm trying to get something together, but I'm working on an unfiltered part two. It's going to be out very soon. And I'll be addressing things in that as well. And then we're getting um your hair show, which is the hair and fashion show. October. Okay, listen to everybody who's on here. Thanks for watching. This Sunday, if you like, if you're interested in modeling, if you're a designer, makeup artist, hairstylist, um, what else? Um, if you want to model, I'll not be painting, you know what I'm saying? Because y'all make it right. I'll give it all sizes, all day. I don't care. I need you. If you want to model, come here. Um, Honey Pie on Dawson Road, right across from Fire Hot Tools and Little Caesars. 
this Sunday, come out and everybody is welcome wear all of that with some punk baby girl fuck with him. Come this fashion show y'all you like to go down and know that I see that. Yeah, so make sure y'all here Sunday because I'm actually going to um try to be a model as well in the show. I want to model in the show because I yeah. didn't have a show but I model. I'm like, I'm not doing this. Yeah. So yeah. um so where do you see um yourself with as far as like your shows, your music, your podcast? Where do you see yourself in the future? Like, do you see yourself like your show being passed all being in other cities? Do you see your podcast? I honestly do. Like, I really want to get the podcast to the point. Like, I like the love of it, but I want to travel with it. Like, events they go on in Albany, I'm actually going to start, like, um, you know, like I said, I want to be passed to me. So, like, um, yeah. fashion shows. If y'all have events and red carpet events, invite me because I want to start covering the red carpet. Um, there's all different types of stuff, company shows, anything y'all have in any event, I really want to start covering it. And different things, I'm trying to do a physical fight night, so anybody watching who have any, because we talk about it, everybody on here who watch out of time, y'all said I need to do it. And I really, I'll be taking a lot of y'all ideas that y'all give me for real though, and try to do it. Because <laughs> I know y'all want to watch it. Uh, I realized that somebody fucking in the background. She just kind of money. That's not funny. I don't think it's not like my fucking name. Oh, I like shit. If it's not like that, you want no good thing for that damn show went moaning. Okay, so, um, you know, we got that out the way. So I'm going to see if anybody in the comments has any kind of. You know, the question that they want to ask. Ms. What y'all want to know the people that they ask? Ask now to some questions. We're right? looking at the phone right now. Let's get into some shit. I know y'all got some questions. I'm ready to answer them. Ask Nigel plenty of questions that y'all want to ask him. Let's get me. And you're not going to get no shit. Um, don't ask me nothing because I will not be answering that. Especially not my Nigel, question. Nigel, you need to show. We definitely, um, we definitely agree with that as well. I think Nigel would have a great show if he were to do a show. Yes. I and I want to read Ellen's show. Like, y'all, it's so many in our songs. I'm looking for girls to cast. Like, people that really go, and I want them to be all about fighting. Y'all need to come on. All about fighting. So, now, so are you beef with anyone currently? To be honest, girl, I don't want really to be beef with bitches. Like, I'm one of them bitches that, like, we can have our problems. I might feel how you feel, but once I don't fuck with you and you don't fuck with me and it's understood, like, to me, that ain't beef. Right. You get what I'm saying? Like, a lot of people will be like, oh, yeah, we be whatever, but that's not new for me. Yeah, we just don't fuck with each other and we don't run up when we see each other. We're not beefing. So, no, I'm not beefing with no beach. Um, it's a lot of bitches that's gonna stay over there and stay the fuck away from me and I don't know. I'm not thinking, man. <laughs> we ain't beefing. And that's just that on that. It might be a little chicken, but it ain't beef. <laughs> <laughs> Nigel, are you still mad at that girl that came for you for no reason? What girl? Y'all, this is so wet, girl. Y'all ain't talking about that damn bull damn for New Year's. No, baby. Oh, baby, put in. Who, y'all? What girl? Drop a name, because this next question just threw me off. Oh. They said, could you see yourself in gay being together or y'all not being in the same position? Because y'all look good together. Ma'am, <laughs> we are friends. Y'all are in the. You gotta write Two girls can't be together. Uh uh, and I was fucked with this all the time. Y'all like being gay. No, uh, we, we can lesbians. We cannot be lesbian or gay over here. We no. are <laughs> we women. <laughs> we are women. Why would you even say that? Women? The you want one of the blog. I'm just like, I'm just like. You're bloppy. Why is y'all saying this? Would you have sex with gay? Top of bottom, but she cleared that up and said he's a versatile. 
He's the first to die, baby. Mixed bird. He get down, baby. Mixed bird. So that means he just went down. And he like, hey, y'all. You have to turn your own. Dude, I'm kids. Yeah, I actually do. Um, so my mother has five kids, two boys and three girls. And it's just been my dream like to have three girls. Oh, for real? Yes, I want three little girls to remind me of my sisters. Because, like, of course my mama raised us with, like, when my brother was like, who that is for? Like, oh, my girl, I could have had these for like this. So it made me just think, I think it made me think a lot of times. Shannon Nunn said, do you dish the booty out? <laughs> <laughs> Well, I think you have to. Uh, <laughs> I, I would begin dug in and plunged to cut in and clean out. And that's just that I mean. <laughs> you cannot motherfucking uh, uh, have to. Wet, wet, wet ladies and um, leg guards, um, we got a painter on the loop. I'm not that painter boo. Right. He's not the Y'all got to go to the other town. Y'all got to go to the other town. I know I found that state on this, but they never got me less that shit. You paint on people. Oh. Give me the meal shirt. <laughs> oh, okay, this is not said at all. I'm good. She from Albany? <laughs> yeah, we Don't know. fuck paying all these men down here in Albany. Then why are you doing <laughs> We people want to know. <laughs> Guess what? It's a colonic building down here too in Albany. Stop me from From my word. Go down there and douche that ass. It ain't nothing but a douche, baby. Really. Did ya? When's the last time you got clapped? I was like, good. <laughs> Y'all did not play I wanna know. <laughs> Y'all turn this into a sex talk when they fucking talking about that tonight. Doing that. So So let me tell you, um I really don't be here to see you. You don't? No, I'm not gonna lie, I know they see my bitch is lying. I'm so for real. I'm just gonna keep the right attack for my man. Mm-hmm. So do you do oral sex? I have that oral sex. When's the last time you did oral sex? <laughs> <laughs> I was at audience. Okay, we're gonna take an audience question, y'all. So are you faithful to your nigga in jail? Um, because we really, like, we in one of the states, like, I thought like we talking, like, you know how you know you going to be with somebody with Yeah. He not dead. I got to lie. Do you, do you feel like you're going to be with him when he get out, though? Um, I'm going to see what we can do. No. Hell no. That's no. Why are you saying no? Because I don't see what I can do. Well, that is my man. I ain't gonna lie, that is my man. It's like, don't ask him. Wait till you get home before you um. Right, cause you know how they do. They'll be on. I got big more. So you got the night and day after lock up, and the whole little situation married after lock up, all that shit. Huh? You gonna be married after lock up? And not for real. We talk about actually and talk about it too, and I really do. Like once we post a bitch in my pocket. I really do want to start like a YouTube series that we can tell our story. I gotta listen, nigga. I don't want to talk in. I didn't want you to say yeah. I didn't want you to point to. I didn't want to bring a whole list of niggas in. I just y'all want y'all to point to. I'm like, yo. Y'all want to start doing trade alert? Y'all yeah. 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 Yeah.
Just let them throw it. Oh, yeah, just let them fix you like I did. Yeah. That's how I am. I know me personally, I'm just not going to just be open to let anybody spoke me. You know what I'm saying? I got to be really attractive. I don't want to go through that whole process of dishing and then I don't like it. And the hard question, y'all, is. Um, friend, <coughs> you know how to suck <coughs> deep for real. I don't I, think you can outdo me, boo. Who said it? Von Lee. Because you, you want to have a challenge? <laughs> You want to have a child of booze? Yeah, what happened to the car house? Who's your car house? Oh, um, man. Oh, um, man. <laughs> y'all, but y'all remember for this thing of it. Man, she started her own show on Reach Time. Who? Man, got it. She was the car house. Like, I think she was my first. And I remember then, seeing somebody on there with you. Yeah, and then she um, got her own. Um, but she did something that she wanted to do. She been wanting to like after she was the um, cause she really the one who got me that car. She was like, you just need to do that. It was good, you know. I want to be on the podcast and I like it. And then want to be her car and then just left. Uh huh. No, I actually. Sorry, I started together and then you used to talk to her. Yeah, we cool. Okay, we cool. Is it intention? No. Okay. And we're probably gonna like, we're probably like, that this stuff will finna be brewed up, but yeah. we talked about it because people seen it on on um, Facebook, I'm sure. We talked about it now. So do you have you seen our podcast? Um I have why well, I share our time. <laughs> That's why I look at you like that. Because you probably gonna get me. I share our time and yes I have I watched um the one with C Go to the barbershop, um I don't know the name of Tom. Name of the barbershop. I mean, yeah, I'm not name of the barbershop, but yeah, I'm not supposed to know. Okay, do you think yours is better? <laughs> oh, God. I would say that mine is more entertaining and she's just not starting, but I think hers would be great. Okay. Well, we can definitely. Um, and I think people know me, though, you know what I'm saying? Like, I bring more of the me. Like, yeah. You know what I'm saying? And it ain't even all perfect. Like, the me. People don't talk to me. Natty J said, would you let a stud strap you down? That's actually like me a fantasy of mine, but she has to be like, it is. <laughs> That's a fantasy of mine, y'all, but she got to be like, you can, she got to be down with no cry baby and stud. Like, I can't stand y'all stud if you're doing all that crying and whining and shit. I know y'all are still girls, but oh, I can't stand that we can't stud. So oh, would you date a stud? The only reason I don't know about dating one because it, She's still a female. Like I dated a trans man before I dated a stud. For real? Yeah, because a stud is they want their feet and they want their feet. And baby, I can't wait for a second. I swear by that. I'm not just going to swear by that. And then she sit up there and act like this shit. Turn her all about people be on. The girl don't need feet anymore. Baby. I wouldn't know what to do with stud because, you know. I mean, like, if I'm talking to stuff, I'm not going to give me a girl, like. Right. But I don't think I can date girls. Even if a girl told me, I, I can't date her. Right. Because, you know, at the end of the day, our ultimate goal is to try to make the dick nuts. But it's, so, I, I, how can you make a stud nut off of a fake dick? If they fucking you, how they gonna nut? Right. So, that way I don't Yeah, say. they ain't gonna tell me, I don't know. But I do wanna, well, no, I ain't gonna say that. If she finds. <laughs> So I said, are you going to suck the strap? I will, but I can't do that every day. I just do that for the this for the look of me. Just you just suck the strap. Like mm-hmm. So what they going to do? How they going to make her horn uh, feel good? Well, you know, it might be, it might be, they say some other thing too. Yeah, she thought that we could have been to a double side of a girl. You got me for a double. Mm-hmm. Could we get me out of the Outside her. How are we? I'm like, oh, I'll be so damn scared. <laughs> <laughs> I'm out of fanny head. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, honey, where'd she get out of? We don't know. That's what we're trying to figure out, too. And we are leaving these questions to Nigel. Please don't ask me any questions, okay? What? <laughs> they're asking me about other people that, you know, if this is just general. Not oh, they're asking about other people's situations. They're for another day. My strap be nothing. That's what uh, oh. the L need your bookie lost. Look at that thing. That they said she said her strap be um buzz or thing. What they say? Uh, I'm gonna block you, baby. Who? What's what? Satisfying you, you're getting blocked. 
Uh-oh. Okay. So, uh, well, I feel like that was a good little uh, work. It was, too. Y'all got it there. We love your hair, Dave. Well, you know what? My hair is slayed by Slim. So, um, you are still taking booking with stuff right from here? Yes, I am. So, make sure that y'all book with Nigel Mitchell, slayed by yeah. And I'm trying to get y'all more shows, more consistency. If you want to be on the show, if you want to promote your business, you can come on the show. I'm actually going to like start doing like advertising and stuff for business. They're going to run cheap, but it will be a price mm-hmm. or whatever like that. And if you like want to give something to the show, like you got something that I, um, you know, short promote it. Um, I do full reviews. I would like, you know, review you still. Any clothing lines that they want me to wear, y'all still can, like I said, I'm going to get me every time. Okay, they want to know, would you allow Miss Netta to, to come on the show? Yes, if Miss Netta want to come on the show, I don't even have no problem with her coming on the show. That absolutely, that could be inside. Mm-hmm. Her as far as, like, as far as, like, I think that would be a um, big step. You know what I'm saying? Actually, because, like, she, a lot of people really tuned in to her life right now. I actually think if a TV show gave her like some type of um, show, I actually think it would be very good. Well, everybody had their you know own opinion. Everybody had their own opinion. <laughs> I mean, I think, <laughs> I think that it's somewhat just directly, but I, I, I do like, probably like a real series or something. You know what I'm saying? I think that you should have that to come to the show. And you should have an audience and <coughs> allow people to come on to the show and watch. You want to be the audience? I would love to be front row. <laughs> okay. I think so. So, yeah. Yeah, this is like an interview. I have a question. We're not opposed to um, Miss Nettle coming on here and talking and doing whatever you That's what they want to do. But, you know, some people think they be on stage, so you're probably, you know, you just have to reach out. I but if I let her go, do you think Charles should come? Absolutely. I think they. They run, I mean, they both, it's like two pieces in a pod. One without the other. It's like, love mama duck and then, you know, <laughs> the ugly duck and run around. <laughs> so it won't never be. You're going to live my thing for getting an interview, so I'll lay it tonight. Huh? I, I would definitely um, want to come on your um, podcast and you interview me as well. But, uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's what we can get it through with. Yeah, we can definitely um, talk about that. Uh-huh. I'm not a problem talking about nothing. <laughs> oh, my God. We, <laughs> that thing I had, we can live. And then you're going to hook me on a reunion again. Yeah, we could be on a reunion again. Because <laughs> I don't know about over here saying that I don't take the public to their house and shit like that. Why the fuck would I do that? Oh, you mean that? And I ain't even addressed it, but I'm just saying it right now. I ain't seen nobody in the public, nobody in the fucking house for what? Are you. We need gay this week, don't huh, y'all? We can definitely get me in this week. We can definitely get, um, get me in this week. We got to set it up. So what they say, I don't give a fuck about being blocked. Okay, well then we go. How you got that? <laughs> you made a fake page. You made another page. page. Be this time, but I'm gonna block your ass one more Wait. time. Just like how you said, baby. Like, mm-hmm. It's gone. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That my baby, there, there, y'all. This is the that I'm gonna go. Where? Lucky. Come baby, there. Lucky. They go lucky. Lucky is the baby there, y'all. Well, um, well, just come up with for two minutes. I thought that'd be fun. Ooh. Y'all would want to know that these that y'all these niggas back. I want to do this. That I want one right. ball person for real, though. Yeah, that one ball right. person. I understand. I, I, I want to start this. Right. I, I know somebody that legally like can do this. Like, um, you know, you did that too. Yes, I heard um people do that. What's y'all like, saying? These girls ain't gonna want to know. I know, girl. I want to bring, but let me shit the fuck up. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my That's God. what if you so guys want to do it. You got those sneakers. I got more like that. Anybody want to come up here and do a uh, DNA test? Just hit Nigel. Uh, Let's see. Yeah, I think that would be good. Then you just fucking the home boys. Oh. See, you know what? That's what I'm saying. You got Frank James up here, too. I can James, 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 I'm sorry. James, if you be on the show, you do a podcast. That's how I'm telling Nigel. Hey, this is how I feel to me. Uh oh. This thing's not for the no, honey. Now, when I tell you which one of y'all females don't let the other send shoes, because you know, bitch, like, don't lie, mommy. 
Is that so if you tell it, y'all be ready to do that. Y'all be ready to uh and, and defend him. Because y'all don't want to ask. Y'all gonna ask the question he answered, and then guess what? Then y'all run away. Uh, and fight thieves. Bring me a boom. Bring the boom that need your You did bring the boom for, right? Yeah. I got it. Like, <laughs> like, like, why yeah, would y'all even agree. say that if that's what y'all mean? Bring yeah. him. Should bring him. Oh. Who is she? Y'all get it to me. It's to me. Who is she bring him? Did you look at him? I don't know. Who that is that you going to need security? Maybe y'all don't start dropping that in now because I ain't got nothing to do with that. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> and we got nothing to do with that. I ain't said that. I know she bring it in. <laughs> Please don't put that name down there. I don't know who you be doing. What is that thing? They talk about. They talk about little J Bond yeah. Mama. Oh, that would be funny. What? If um, she, you know, and I should talk to these movies about that boy. Oh, you think that would be funny? Dang, I don't need to have. Oh, that would be funny. Yeah, that would be funny. Yeah, that would be funny. Yeah, Trying to figure out a baby daddy stuff. Even though he didn't do it, I'm not trying to pay that bill. It'll make you laugh? Yeah. Okay. Now we got a girl. No way. Mm-hmm. Y'all ain't got to get on. And I'm like, hey, that is no name. I'm here with this too. Okay, y'all go to the recall. I don't. Y'all got to get the Y'all is please, I mean, come on now, come on with another question. What's going on? We finna get ready to eat it, but what is that? Where's the word? You must be trying. What do you think? Gang, gone, lame. Damn. 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 Y'all not gonna get us into no um stack with them all. They know that y'all need to not let stuff go. I don't want to talk. I don't need one more for that. For real, because I don't got time. I start talking about the people in January. It is May. It's gonna be June. It's still no. So y'all not y'all even not the people who y'all want to find out who that baby is. What about Sabrina? Sabrina will be a good guest for your podcast. She came and got um, us together in oh my girl. Was that her? She said um, to tell you when she started going to um, your job that you need to put an extra in her um. You can't do that. that, <laughs> that, 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 that I don't know if I can't do it. For real? I'm going to do it like that. They don't care if they're not, they need not no friend. So, yeah, you can't do that either. Because they be they real shit down there. I heard, I heard they come street down there. At, um, at Pizza Hood. Okay, y'all, so that was an amazing episode of Unfiltered Podcast. We appreciate everybody for tuning in. I was so excited for being here, and I thank you. We're going to put something together so that I can be a guest on the podcast yeah. because I've been watching it, and I'm so excited about it. I know it's going to be bigger and better than ever. Um, you know, so... Continue doing what you're doing. Make sure y'all come mm-hmm. Sunday for um the model, the model. It's a hair and fashion show, right? Yeah. So the model call for Najee's hair and fashion show will yeah, be this Sunday. What time? Mm, it starts at who was that? I'm supposed to say, but I'm going to say like, it's I ain't going to see. Wait, it's five, six, six, We're going to see real quick. <laughs> but why y'all sit on here? This is what I want to say. Um. Again, designers, makeup artists, and stylists, I want to collaborate with everybody. We're going to need all of that. Um, sponsors, it's for Breast Cancer Awareness. Um, uh, um, cause that is um, actually really dear to me, not a serious note. That's something I really care about. Um, you know. So, yes, I want to do, um, I'm doing a my card this Sunday. I need to have a call. It started at 5 from 5 to 7. Let's get it like everybody come. I need males, females. Like, I need to come to the fashion show. And if you've been to Nigel's previous fashion shows, you all know that it is big and grand. So make sure y'all come on out. Yeah, this one's gonna be like no other. So if y'all hit me up, come to the um, model car. And tomorrow, yeah. Tune in tomorrow. Tune in tomorrow, yeah. Me, I'm a crazy. 
You know what? Rihanna just had something going on today. And yeah, then I just she been with scared before. I just with name. Oh, she I thought Ray was telling me. Did she ask for scared before this? This why it's like her right. Did you see what was going on today? <laughs> I got big to eat and food. So Bro, Rihanna uh, probably will be on tomorrow. Y'all make sure y'all tell them. They said that Rihanna will cook the plate. If somebody put a picture of plate up, y'all don't know what's going on. I'm going to turn in. I love Rihanna. I love Oh, they talking about that super ass food right now. That's it's not, it's all that's what I'm saying. She coming out here tomorrow, so y'all be tuned in. We all yeah. coming out here tomorrow. Me, I don't know what's crazy. And that is yeah. shit that right now is a play. I asked the new one one for real. Let Nigel. Y'all, I'm not being funny. Because I know, y'all, I'm being so serious, y'all. And me and her is going to have a uh, talk because, I mean, I'm sorry, you can't stop or be discouraged when people say something. Exactly. You cannot be discouraged. I honestly, yeah, you can't stop because you never know, like, what if she really, like, want to cool? And then, what if it's really good? What if she really be, like, a yeah. damn restaurant or something like that? You I know, sometimes know. people come It should out. make her want to get to that point, though. But, you know, it's always good. Some people might feel like their food is really good, but the presentation may be a little off. So it's yeah, always that, good to true. accept um, criticism. I like Miana. I didn't know she cooked. So that would be really interesting for you to maybe try her food. You know, and <laughs> I've seen a, um, a play. I know you're not a big play. No, no, no. I'm not yeah, doing it. She had a play online, and that's the play that they're talking about because yeah. she didn't have enough. But I do food with you, but then I said it all about this today. I wanted to say, um, what did I say, the spice ball? That's yo, what you need to do. Yeah, I, I, I want to say the spice ball every time because I love spice ball. Well, that's what we want to we want to see that. So we to make sure you if you tune in, make sure you um make Nigel a spicy bowl, and he's gonna come up here. And y'all know I do like live reviews. Like I'm out of food reviews, and this would be a live one. Well, I'm excited. I'm ready to see that more because they don't have Facebook going on and on and on. So me, Anna will be on Thursday. Prima Donna will be on Friday, and she has some tea and like hey. Prima Donna, y'all heard that right? Prima Donna will be here Friday. I think she might have something going on that she might want to spill. You know, she might want to talk about, you know, yeah. her and what she had going on with the man. Um, <laughs> yes. You know what I'm saying? Girl? I got to that. I like Prima Donna. Yes. <laughs> See, we about to do I love her because she really been getting to it. Like, like Prima Donna has been in her bitch life. Not really looking at like it. Yes, I'm ready to hear what's going on with Prima Donna and her life. Because I like Prima Donna. And you know, I don't know. Cause I can see a little shot, I think. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I can't, you know. Uh-uh. I thought my girl gonna go get the island. <laughs> you did? I like that. Y'all know gonna pop in and be a girl who's about to die. I see a little more shot from the top, but I still don't have to do it. But it's crazy when we do it, we do it. Y'all really want to shoot our house for you. So you know what I mean? What you I'm gonna be asking questions. I ain't lying. If I house for you, I'm gonna ask questions. And I'm gonna need a security right here, right here, anyone else. <laughs> Give me the I'm going to talk. All that means, I'm staying out of the For real. I just I'm not going to be a good hoe. Because I'm not going to be scared to ask them, but I'm not going to let them just run up on me and hit me either. Because why would you be mad at me? I'm asking the question. Yeah, like, in the fans, I mean, in the support. Oh, y'all name is the Mr. Cousins, too. Somebody name up their name, and this is our name, the Mr. Cousins. We can definitely, we're going to definitely get it, too. So, I'm ready for tomorrow, too. Yeah, me, too. So, oh, see y'all later. Right. We're about to go. Join us the little lady for Slip Talk. Cool. Yeah, it's Slip Talk tonight, so y'all yeah, be tuning in with that too. We're finna have a beach party. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> Don't forget my man. Y'all finna have beach tonight because y'all yeah. be beaches. Yeah. Beach. 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 Yeah. Yeah. Beach. 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 Without a little reunion, you know, y'all really want a reunion. I need to make that. Can, can y'all stop being scared and come to the reunion? <laughs> I'm finna go in about everybody. You never know that. I'm here about to tell you the reunion. Yeah, let's do it. And we gotta have security on it. Like, for real though, if you really want to do the reunion and you really want to ensure that people not, like, you really understand they want to fight, then, you know, but don't, you know, that's the language that people in school, you don't want to fight. Because I will try to, because I really don't want to feel like they can be more if they really like, no play, hold on, just um, is tuned in watching. She want to post a picture with um, me on the food. Very nice. We got great me on the We got white people on the food. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs>